Yo, what's going on everybody? Phantom here bringing you another episode of Pokemon Indigo Disc. So in the last episode, we became the champion. I know, I know. We finally did it. With lots of hard work, we finally did it. We beat Craig, and here we are. Now we're starting to go into Area Zero, and Gita, we've also changed our uniform. You know, we're going on a little trip. You might as, you might as well change your clothes, you know. But Gita wants to still talk to us, so we're going to talk to her right now. It has been a while, Champion Phantom. Hiya, kiddo. Rika's here, too, at your service. Not gonna lie, I never dreamed we'd be running into you. I see that you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as a Paldea champion, even while abroad. I'm doing my best. You know what I'm saying? Ha, huh, indeed. I would expect nothing less from a talented trainer such as yourself. Yeah, I definitely got talent. Lots of talent. But not enough to get you off the hook. You went into the Great Crater without League's permission, didn't you? Don't think you're not gonna get a scolding for that. It's what champions do. I like that one. <laughs> What's that gonna do with anything? You can't just go breaking the rules willy nilly. Calm down, Rika. No harm came to him after all. Gotta put my water bottle on this side. Be normal. And besides, we have good reason to believe that all of Palais would have been at risk if Champion Phantom here hadn't ventured into Area Zero. Well, yeah, I mean, that's true, but. Fine, I'll let you off the hook this one time. You better thank the boss for stepping in. Don't think poorly of Rika. She's just worried for you. Now then, Champion Phantom, this time you'll be heading to Area Zero with official League permission. Only a handful of people know about the incident involving the time machine. However, taking into account the dangers of Area Zero, I have elected to inform Miss Briar of what happened, obfuscating certain details. Speaking of, boss, didn't you say you had something to give to that Briar person? Yes, yes I did. I've forgotten about that. Champion Phantom, would you be so kind as to take this for me? The Indigo Disc? Wow. That's incredible. I didn't know that's how they were going to throw that name in here. But I mean, I guess they did it with an item last time, too. Like, the teal mask is an actual teal mask. I do ask you to return the disc to me if you end up not finding a use for it. There's just so much we do not know about Area Zero. I know you've already been to its depths, but please exercise some caution while dealing with the environment and Pokemon there. As a champion, I also need to protect and guide those accompanying you. Wish I could go with you, kiddo, but I got my own work to do. Do your best down there and don't push yourself too hard, you hear? Now, please excuse us. Alright. Look at me. Dapper. This dapper dude. All right, let's go. Meet up with Miss Briar and the others. Um, the entrance, I guess. It doesn't have an exclamation mark. I don't know where to go. It's confusing me. But this is gonna be fun. I'm actually very excited to go down to Area Zero. Oh, well, there's Carmen and Craig down there. Right on. Let's see what we have to say to them. Are you ready to travel to Area Zero, Phantom? Yes, I am. Get me out of here. Splendid, we're finally ready to set off then. Craig's just looking out into the distance, just... I can't believe I lost. Yeah, me too. Alright, let's do this. Look at my little hat. I've had time to calm down. Oh, well that's good. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Kieran! I mean... She's trying to be supportive, I guess. But Kieran's like a little kid, and he's just like, I will do anything to be strong. You know, and you're like, all right, whatever, man. Ah, gotta stay hydrated. I haven't said that for a few episodes. Gotta stay hydrated, everybody. Okay, here we are, back in Area Zero. Are we gonna, like, go, like, directly to the bottom? Because this looks like the first... Like, the first stop... You know? Wowzers. Wow, look at those eyes. Something scary. So, uh, you've been here before, right, Phantom? Yeah, but my friends. Friends, huh? Yes. <gasps> I guess! Thank you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. I guess? That's funny. I guess? So you came here with Phantom back then too, huh? Oh, you must be that. Oh, you must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. I'm very intrigued by the specimen, but alas, that's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Deeper, Area Deeper, and see what's even deeper, even deeper than even deeper, 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 deeper. Heath mentioned his right Z fell from the depths to someplace even deeper. Wait, hold on. Doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could go? Yes, it's quite curious, isn't it? However, Heath also wrote that he was utterly unable to recall how he got down there. If his right answer to be believed, there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. 
right on, dude. That's awesome. Am I going to be able to ride right on? I hope so. Can I? Are they following me? They're not following me? Thank goodness. Hey, there's Donpan. Okay, yeah, we're just going to get me that shiny stone. But we're just going to head down here. Just go right down to the bottom. Um, where's the portal? There's the portal. We would like to go research station number four. Number four. Eerie zero. Shout out if you guys know that. It's an old meme. I think it's an old meme. Might just be old to me. Might be old to other people as well. But not everybody. All right. Right on. We actually get to do like the normal traveling in Area Zero now, because traveling in Area Zero without Coridon, absolutely insane. Wow, look at that, two behemoths and three scary tails. Um, let's just drop. Let's just go here, I guess. Boom. Is this where we need to go? I mean, it's set head down, so. Fluttermane, oh wow. Roaring Moon is down here now? Okay. I mean, I remember trying so hard to freaking find that dude everywhere, but didn't freaking exist. Any shiny gibbles? No. No shiny gibbles. I love shiny gibbles, dude. It's not even a question. Just like the dark blue and the yellow. Woo! So clean. Well, I mean, we're just going to run around, because, like, this is obviously going to be some place we've never been before. Does this count as that area? I don't remember going in here. Man, this Area Zero music is so good, too, man. It's crazy. Okay. No shinies. Just coming down out here. Are we going to go to the machine? Are we going to go in the machine? Because, I mean, we, like, went below. We went into the machine, so we might need to go below the machine. This is a zero lap. I take it a structure exterior. I might just get his description at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero. Well, yes and no. This is the deepest point that the Area Zero expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told the lowest level of this laboratory contains mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unknown. Should I do this zero lab? Gates closed though. Huh? Oh, you're right. What do you do now, Phantom? You've been here before. We gotta disable the lock. How do we do that? Do we just actually just click on the panel? Wowzer, it feels like it's from a spy movie or something. Way cool. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, you dweeb. Yeah, I guess I'll unlock the gate for you, Briar. I mean, I still don't know how I feel about her. I still think she's evil. I still think she's evil. Am I going to have to go to all four research stations again? Open the gate to zero lock. Yep. Access revoked due to prolonged inactivity. Entrance unlocked. What? What's the matter? Something wrong with it? Yes, there is something wrong. I cannot get inside. There were four locks before. Do I have to go unlock all of them again? Are you kidding me, dude? Indigo disc detected. Oh. Indigo disc detected. Huh? It's not Insert Indigo Disc for greater access privileges. Please insert Indigo Disc. Well, access is one of those computerized voices. Not any different than a TM machine. Indigo Disc, what could it mean by that? Oh, I've got this item that you never got. Oh, Giddy gave me a mysterious item before you departed, did she? You think that's it? Ooh, how fun. Go on, do it. Woo! Wow. How many of you guys even know what, like, a DVD is? You know? Because the Indigo Disc is a DVD. So, I mean, that's pretty wild that it's a DVD. Zero lap elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Whoa. Wow. Opening the gate again. So now, am I able to open it again? Or is it just because we haven't had to go in here since the last time? Like, was my access revoked because me as a person has not been here? Or because the professor as a person has not been? Right on, let's do this. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I guess we still go out here. Still go through this. All like the research station stuff. Are people going to start reading things and speculating and being scary? 
What did you do? It's way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. That's because you're running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Seems like someone's finally breaking out of their funk, hmm? Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? She's busy rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Are those someone's private photos and stuff? We probably shouldn't be looking at all that. Huh? You're awful considerate all of a sudden. Put me on the elevator, man. Put me in the elevator. Put me in the area zero depths. Miss Briar, look, an elevator. Maybe it can take us further down. You want to go down, right? Down, 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 down. Down, you say? Yes. Yes, we say. We say here, here. Oh my jeez, the elevator last time reached Mysterious Room I mentioned earlier? Sure did. How exciting. Well, we have no time to waste. Let's go down. I guess this elevator's got, like, multi-purposed. Let me turn it on the elevator. Zoop. It's a ball of... Ball. It's a wall of light. It's scary. Are there going to be some crazy Pokemon down here that we just have never seen before? Or is it going to be kind of the same kind of Pokemon down here? You know? Oh, wonderful. This elevator just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast. I almost feel like I'm floating. What if we jumped? What if we all jumped right now? Hey, everyone. That panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? Now that I mention it, yeah, it's more about an elevator being redirected. As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab, so the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. So where's this thing actually taking us? <laughs> where indeed? Oh. Alright. If we died, it would all have been her fault. But we don't, because it's a Pokemon. But that's crazy. Literally just takes us down here with no shame. But what do you guys think is going to be down here? I'm sure, like, the crazy Paradox Pokemon that were released, we're going to see. But, like, what else are we going to see? Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, this is cool. Wow. So, what? Are we under Area Zero or something? Oh, that's a cool phone case. Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last were. Could the elevator have taken us even further down than its previous destination? Maybe, or maybe in between. Man, Area Zero is already a lot to take in. I think it's going to surprise me at this point, no matter what we're into. Hey, what's all this stuff? Oh, what is this? What are desks doing down here? Oh my, oh my, this is, this is a report written by the esteemed Professor Sada. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero, and there slumbers Trapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Its body has become crystal, protecting it from outside... Protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon, occurring in a way I've never seen above, terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terra type the stellar type for now. Wow. Could Trapagos's influence be at play? Trapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero? There's the name of the DLC right there. And its slumbering form? A crystal? Was a staring? Blah, 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 he's in right about. These documents are veritable treasure trove. We will just be our expedition. I don't know if she can get so excited in a bizarre place like this. Legendary Pokemon Trap goes. That's the hidden treasure. Area Zero. Come on, let's hurry up and go further in. I still haven't got my fill of these documents, but okay, let's go. It would be best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Yeah, let's do it. Give me Trap goes. Give me that Pokemon. Give me that Pokemon. All right. Crydon comes out. Oh, that's a far drop. I don't know if I want to do that yet. Maybe I need to? Or is that crystal bunch where I need to get through? I can climb over. What is this? That crystal trying to be a flower. It's blocking up a path. Yeah, we're not going any further in this way. Hey, what about Witchmadon, that Pokemon you ride on? Could I smash through? Sure, let's try. Hold on, hold on. Please, hold on. This is quite like a mass vision. Pure terrestrial energy. We have no idea what might happen if we try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, so what do we do then? Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. There are Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back. You're no good in battle, Miss Briar. Sheesh. Kiki, no, Phantom. You should handle this. Oh. Literally saying his name and then being like, no. You. What? Alright, let's see this. 
Do I have to catch it, or do I just have to fight it? Oh, I'm glad we got Christine up front. This is going to be an easy battle. Okay, what is this? Wow. Look at that. Every Terra type crystal, that's so cool. Oh, is that, is that Terrapagos on top? What on earth is that energy? It couldn't be. Look at that, let's look at it. That's literally Terrapagos. Wow, that's sick. Um, I guess we'll just go Ivy Cudgel. It's my strongest move, dude. Oh, we landed a crit, too. Good job, Christina. Toxic Debris. Yeah, we're not switching out. Do I need to catch it? Or, like, what do I need to do? Battle it again, I guess. Hit it with another Ivy Cudgel. Boom. Landed another crit? That's pretty brazy right there, man. That's absolutely brazy. Three more? Fainted. Perfect. Everybody else? Just gained experience. Didn't level up. Good worry, Phantom. Oh, whoa. Whoa, it disappeared. Right on, that's cool. Did knocking out that sparking Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? It's just like in that report we found earlier, what we witnessed was a Pokemon wielding the powers of each and every type. That makes me supposed to have the Stella Terra type. Oh, uh, so what's all that mean? Wait, was that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we're looking for? No. I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. The professor's note said the hidden treasure very is your slumbering crystal form. The glimmer you fought of doesn't fully fit that description, so I don't think it's the Pokemon the professor called Trapagos. Well, the only way to know if it... Well, the only way to know if it was hidden treasure or not is to keep going. Come on. This is crazy, dude. This is so much fun. Wow. Stellar Terra Shard. Whoa. So then, does that mean that we can give anybody... The Stellar Terra Shard. Actually, let's go. Boom. On rare occasion, these jars form when a Terra Pokemon falls in battle and his Terra Jewel shatters. Okay, so we can give that to somebody then. Interesting. Let me pick up this Pokeball. What are the, ooh, 11? Are we going to have to, like, get enough that we'll be able to use it in battle? That would be awesome. You know, I'm kind of surprised they don't have any different Pokemon. You know, it's still kind of the same. Hydro Pump, right on. I'm glad I risked my life for this. Let's go back. Carbink. Okay, let's grab this. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, let me just get this Pokemon. Come on, come on! Come on! There we go. Four stores. Actually pretty nice. Get this Pokeball too. Anything else crazy? Oh, what is that? Is this a Noivern? Wow, I'm fighting it right now. I don't know if we have to fight it yet, but I'm going to. Noiv. <laughs> okay. Let's do trash slide, buddy. We got our Christine Ivy Cudgel Choice Banded Pokemon. Let's get this out of here. It's so cool, dude. Are you kidding me? The rainbow crystals, like, peak design. So nice. It goes for Frisk. Oof. It's touching me. It's touching me. Stop touching me. We're just going to go, it's going to go Roost already. Okay, right on. Please get another crit. It doesn't crit. We'll just do it again. It's probably going to go Roost. Oh, it goes Boom Burst. Okay. Why did you go Roost first off? That does a decent amount of damage. All right. We go Ivy Cudgel again. Okay. Now we got to hit it one more time. Probably going to go Roost. Maybe it's slower than me now. It goes Tailwind. Oh, okay. Is this just trying to get me to beat it? Either way, we're going to hit it again. Take it out. Boom. Bang. Okay, took out the Noivern, so now the crystal thing should go away. Let's see. Let's see if the crystal stuff goes away. I wonder how many levels of that we're going to have to do. Are we going to have to do like two more, one more, three more, seven more, ten more, eleven more? I don't know. We'll find out. Carmen's a little collapse. Just the... How great, you guys. Good job! The crystal thing is gone now! 
Right on. Wow, 3,000 LP. Sheesh, I'm rich. Are we walking down this hallway now? I want it to open up into like this huge cavern. That's what I want. I want the huge cavern, dude. That'd be so cool. But I don't know if it will end up being a huge cavern. You know? Okay, come on, Crydon. Let's get going. The game is saving for us, too, so we don't have to worry about it. Alright, who do we have to fight now? Because there's more crystals. Do we have to go over here? Or is this literally just where we came out of? No, it looks different. There's items on the floor. So I guess, max revive, nice, for when I don't want to go to Pokemon Center. Okay, I'm just going to climb up here. Grass Terra Shard, right on. Ooh, TM, this would be a good TM. Outrage. Actually, there's use for Outrage. What are we going to see? Is this a Sandy Shocks? Let's get this item first before we fight him. Um, normal Terra Shard, okay. Oh, what is down there? Let's see what's down here first. We can always climb back up. Wow, look at this. That's actually crazy. Now the problem is going to be getting out of here and actually getting to where I need to go. This is Sandy Shocks, so we should be okay with, um, with Christine just taking it down. Look at it, though. It looks so nice. Biz, 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 biz. I love this Pokemon so much. Definitely one of the best Paradox Pokemon. Hands down. One of the best. Okay. So you got all kinds of Terra typing. I mean, what utility does this have? That's my question. Like, if I use, like, a Terra Blast and I'm Stellar terra can I pick what typing? Is it automatically super effective? Like, do I get to pick my typing that I terrestrialize into? Like, what's the utility, man? I want to know the utility. And we just go for another ID card roll. Boom. Gone. Game over. Kaput. I like how it looks like it's got a little bit of goth makeup. You know, like by the eyes, got like the purple. I think that's cool. Okay, so that's the cavern. What is below me, though? That's what I'm concerned about. I want to know what's below me. <sighs> Gotta adjust in my seat, baby. <laughs> hey, Van Van, the path opened up. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna crawl down here. I'm gonna see what's going on. See if it leads me to, like, some cool Pokemon or some cool area. Or if it leads me back to where I'm supposed to go. Pink. Dark Terra Shard. It's over here. Oh, is that just death? That might just be death. So I'm going to avoid death today. I want to live. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to live today. And everybody else should also choose to live today. Um... Oh, it just put me right back. Oh, there's an item! Like Indiana Jones. Everywhere I go, I gotta get those items. Okay, let's just get this last one. Hopefully this is the last one. I mean, I love items. But I love it when they have a point to it. Okay, that's a lot of terror shards, so that's actually nice. We'll just climb up here. We'll go back. We'll go in the tunnel. I wonder if Coridon's going to get, like, the super cool flying ability just from being in here, you know. I'm curious about what's going down now. Sorry for you doing all the work. Really appreciate it, Phantom. I mean, I am big buff guy. Why are you so angry? Now then, it appears the Trasso energy around us is growing more dense the farther down we go. Come, we have no time to lose. I mean, if it's been here for thousands of years or however long, I don't think really we're in a rush. Right on. Cool. Right on. Let's sprint through this tunnel. 
Okay, this looks like it's gonna be probably at the bottom. Like, well, I mean, I say at the bottom. I mean the last one. Get a max potion. Go over here. Get that full restore. Is it prepping us for battle? Max elixir. It might be prepping us for battle. That's a little bit scary. Full heal. That is also very scary. I mean, not the item itself, but it's not like full heal. Ah! But I mean, we are getting... It seems like we're going to be getting tested extremely hard. Because why else would I need a max potion and a full restore? You know? Okay, so we're just going to land here. What's Carmen doing over there? I'll talk to her first. What do you have to say, Carmen? You handle looking around in the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Okay, so I do have to swim. Okay. Is that another Sandy Shocks? Or is that Garganacle? Wow. The tree? This place is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow. I still, I still can't get over this music, guys. This is crazy. I don't really see any items. That's okay, because I do see the Garganacle. Look at him. Look at our little salt brick. Giga, 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 giga. Giga, 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 giga. All right, Christine is really putting in the utmost work. Right on. Boom. Let's right, take you out. I love how you can see Trap Ghost on top. I think that's so sick, dude. That's such a cool design. Um, let's just go Ivy Cudgel. I'm sure doing two of them will just take it down immediately. So, yeah, easy dubs. Easy dubs. Okay. Destroys its Terra energy. Here we go. We'll hit it with another Ivy Cudgel. Spiky stick. Boom. Bang. Got him. Okay. Oh, crit. Wow. I'm so glad that you could do it. I knew you could. Arganacle fainted. Ah, this is leveled up. What does this mean, though? Does something open up, or are they all going to come here? Oh, I guess it is just emptying. Well, what's up with the tree, though? That's what I want to know. I want to know about the tree. Okay, Kiki, your turn to call over Phantom. Oh, maybe he'd rather have you do it. Quit your blabbering, just do it. Yeah, wow. He's like, fine, whatever. I guess I'll do it. Hey, the path opened up. We can keep going. This is crazy, though, dude. Look at this. What if I go up and walk up to this? Nothing? No. No item. Uh, but I think there is an item over here, though, from what I remember. I don't know why I didn't grab this. Well, this is why I didn't grab it earlier. Because it's a difficult item to get to. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, let's see what it is. Better be freaking worth it. Ghost Terra Shard. I'd say that's worth it. I'd say it's always good to get some Terra Shards, you know? Because who knows in the future if I just want to switch up their Terra typing. But here we are, swimming back. Let's get back here. Boom. Get out of here. Get out of the water. Fly down. Boom. Like a superhero, man. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you want to say to Phantom? No. Not really. Just feels like we're relying a bit too much on him is all. We should keep going. I mean, hey, if you want to fight him, go ahead. Go ahead and fight them. God, he's stubborn. <laughs> you tourists something dazzling as always. Just so you know, we were also fending off wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team are just about to spend. Since it's just all I got left, so if something happens, you better save me. All right, I guess. I mean, if you're going to have me take care of the whole party, everyone should get behind me. I should be the first one everywhere. Whoa, I mean, we don't have to worry about breaking something open. My Terra Orb, I think it's reacting to something. Huh, you're right, mine is too. I'm picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. It seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? The hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Scarlet Book is so close now. What, not you too? Those two sometimes, I swear. All right. 
Let's go into the creepy tomb first. Ah, cutscene? It appears to be a cutscene. Right on. And we're going to have this episode go longer. It's just been dialogue. Nothing crazy has happened yet, so... Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the... Wow. Look at me. Look at me. I'm purple. This is beautiful. Okay, where's Terrapagos? That's my question. Is he in this crystal, or like, what's going down? Wow. Wow, you guys, this is absolutely insane. Kieran's, Kieran's in hunter mode. He's finding this dude, man. What is this place? The vibes are on a totally different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? Briar. They're here in a bed. There's something among those pillars. This might be bad. Oh, wow. She, she could see that. Insane. Must have eyes like a hawk. This stone... <clears throat> this stone's the hidden treasure? Give me a moment. I need to check something. She's just going to touch it. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero... It can finally beat Phantom. Kiki, you're still going on about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. Phantom is everything I've ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants, and he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond shows him over me. But Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom. You are like best friends in no time. I've got nothing. I worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. This is all I have now. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Ooh, cutscene. So excited. Uh. Uh. Oh my gosh, did we kill him? Oh, that's cool, actually. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Trapagos. Trapagos is that small? Whoa. Wow. Oh, the music? Wow. Whoa. Oh, it's so cute. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. I can't wait to take him from Kieran. That was going to be so nice. So satisfying. Just kidding. Oh, it's coming toward me anyway? <gasps> Whoa, no way. That's crazy, dude. What? So what happens now? That was Trapagos. You caught it, right? Finally. Well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a mass ball tells me you were well prepared for this. Now I can study Trapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Maybe you give us a little demonstration of Trapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Phantom. I'm also itching to see what Trapagos can do. Get ready so we can start. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, no time like the present, yeah? Just like Briar said? We want Max. Max Elixir. Won't have any effect. Are we all healed up? I think we might be all healed up. We are all healed up. Perfect. Are we going to do a double battle now? Nope. That's not what I meant. I want to do this. I want to save the game. Cool, cool. You saved your progress. Okay. No, we're not going to emote on him. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Get in position. I have to lean forward. Lean forward in my seat. You know what that means. You know it's about to get real. All right, let's do this. How you'll be braced yourself. This time, I'll definitely beat you, Phantom. Well, what Pokemon did you replace on your team for Trapagos? How fitting is this, though? Literally, he's going Trapagos. I'm going Christine. Wow. Go, Trapagos. Show Phantom what you're made of. What type is it? Terra shift? It's a boss? My goodness. Wow. Um. Trastalize Ivy Cudgel? 
So this is the hidden treasure true form? What this? I can win for sure. Yeah, I'll try Slice. It's no big deal. I'll just try Slice. This Pokemon that always doesn't ask. Wow. Embody aspect. Mask worn by Christine. Show him brightly. For Ivy Cudgel. Show him it's distorting type matchups. What? What does that mean? The Zen headbutt? Okay, I guess we'll go Ivy Cudgel again. I don't know what that means. Wow. Tropicos' power should be far greater than Could it be we're missing something? Goes with Zen Headbutt. Is it going to have a second form? Guess we go Ivy Cudgel again. I guess we'll see. Okay, we take it down. It's so little! I think it's so cool, though. It fainted, though, but did it really? All right, we beat it, I guess. I mean, I guess it's pretty weak. Question mark send. Why? I drop it. If I had the hidden treasure variable, it would make me stronger. I thought it let me beat Phantom. Guess not. Sorry, dude. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Its trestle energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So, Trapicos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. Of course. Trapicos is made of Trasal energy. Kieran, you must Trasalize Trapicos this instant. If my hunch is correct, Trapicos will resonate with the energy from your Terra Orb, and the hidden treasure will finally reveal its true brilliance. Wow. Got it. This is pretty crazy, man. Wow, it's not even a fight now. Now we're just watching it happen. I knew it. The Scarlet Book was right. Trap goes in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Wow. A little trap goes. Whoa, it's... It's bigger, but I didn't... I thought it was even bigger than that. What happened? Do I jump in? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Right on. Yes. Yes. I'm so cool. Guys, I'm so cool. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Trap Ghost to its ball. Uh, okay. Come back, Trap Ghost. Oh my gosh. Nothing has ever broken a Master Ball before. Yes, this is crazy. Oh, this is so sick. And there's that little thing that it was on in like the drawing too. You know the drawing we saw in the book? Looks like it's almost just like on this globe. Wow. Oh, double battle? Right on, dude. Oh, she's only gonna have Sinister? This is crazy. It's energy output's going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it under control. I'm sorry, kids, but please, you need to stop Trapagos. Come on, Kiki, you need to do something too. We gotta get Trapagos under control. No. This wasn't supposed to happen. This is all my fault. Jeez, this dude's been on a ride, dude. My goodness. Okay, well, what are you doing now? Sinistra's hospitality. Thank you very much. Drink down all that matcha that Sinistra made. Terrible lacks the charge. Oh, man, this is going to be tough. No, I don't want to go double K, but we're going to go Ivy Cudgel again. Crystal Rage Powder. Oh, that's huge. Thank you so much. Are you kidding me, dude? That's so crazy. Boom. We're gonna have to hit it again. It's using a barrier to reduce damage. In that case, try slicing your Pokemon might help. I know, I know, I know that. I know that. Terra Star Storm? Critical hit on Christine. Of course it is. We're gonna go Ivy Cudgel again. Go Ivy Cudgel. Thing. Okay. Trap goes use Terra Star Storm. 
Okay. Right on. Did a lot of damage. Oh, use life do? It's like it's com competitive set, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, dude, like, like, you kidding me, dude? Now is your chance to use your Trasalized Pokemon to strike back. Yes, it is my chance. It is my chance to be the hero of the story. Okay, awesome. Now, how much is he gonna do? Is he gonna actually, like, destroy it? Is he just gonna. Oh, dude, I still can't get over it. Over on Trasalizes, man. It's so good. Body aspect. Speed Rose, right on. We go Ivy Cudgel. Please do enough to get it out of the um, terror range. It does. Christine landed a crit. Let's go, baby. Right, what's he going to do now? Absorb Terrastal Energy. What? Are you kidding me, dude? Absorb Terrastal Energy? Wow. Oh, I have to go back to normal. Zen Headbutt. E. Please go for the uh, Sinistra. Thank you very much. Sinistra. Painted. Please, Garmin, have more Pokemon. No, my Sinistra's knockout isn't good. It's just too strong. This is getting crazy. No, I have to do it again. Thank you. Use the power of the Trassel Phenomenon to change its type. Put up another barrier of such strength to use the Trassel Energy to absorb to do so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. Venom is doing all the work. Yes! Please! It's no good. I'm useless. We're just gonna go Ivy Cudgel again, man. We're just gonna sit here and suffer until Kieran decides to join us. Landed a critical hit. Yes, Christine. Praise. Oh. No, this is perfect timing. This is when something like that would be legit. During a boss battle. Come on, Kieran. Come on, Gray. Boom. Do some good damage. Goes for Zen Headbutt. It actually hits us this time. Still still living. Still doing pretty good. Now, Phantom, trust us your Pokemon so it shines once more. You know, she's not bad. She's just dumb. She's just dumb. It's like you think that this is a good idea. She's just dumb. Come on, let's do it again. Better not take my cool energy from my cool mask. Okay. Boom. It's so good, dude. That animation is insane. Embody aspect. My speed rises again. Go Ivy Cudgel. Boom. Come on. Boom. Boom. Come on, let's go, Kieran. We want him to join. You gonna absorb my terrestrial energy again? Sheesh. I mean, let's just see that animation more than one time in one battle. Oh, it's so sweet. It absorbs it again. Surely can't keep doing this over and over. Kiki, Phantom's in trouble. You need to help him. But I can't. I can't help anyone. Come on, Kieran. Come on! We could do this! Come on. Do this. Be my friend once more. Yes. Yes. Ah! That's what we want to see. Look at that. The squad. Yes, Hydrapple. Perfect. Perfect. We want Hydrapple out of here. Gabriel's base in this fell. That wasn't a problem, but like, it's also fine. This is so crazy, dude. This is actually insane. Changed its type again. What type is it this time? Oh, okay. I'll help out, too. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. The two of you need to clean this whole mess up. Are you kidding me? Did she actually say that? Christine used Ivy Cudgel. Boom. Come on, Hydrapple. I knew you could do it. Terra Star Storm. This might hurt again. You can like. Yes. Because it was in a bit of pinch. Looks like it might crack. Syrup Bomb. 
Whoa, super effective. Got covered in sticky candy syrup. Speed fell, that's fine. Christine has no moves left that it can use. Struggle, oh, because of the choice band. Uh, okay, but you know what this means. We're bringing in Chompy Boy. Literally the Pokemon has been with us since the very beginning of our journey. This is like actually poetic. This is actually insane. I drop a lives. I drop a Usura Bomb. Does some okay damage, you know, it's decent. Drop goes to speed fell again. That's gonna be good for Chompy Boy. Yes, 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 yes. This is so sick, dude. Are you kidding me? Terrastalize. We're gonna go flamethrower. Terrastalize flamethrower. Come on! We need Kieran to do it too. Come on, Kieran. Kieran has earned his name. He has earned the ability for us to call him Kieran instead of Craig. Let's go, baby! Chompy boy, you sing that song. We go flamethrower. Take him down. Oh, we don't take him down yet? Are you kidding? Dragon cheer. Oh, is he boosting my stats? Oh, he's boosting my stats! I'm getting pumped. What does that mean? Drive goes through water pulse? Oh, that is very, very bad. We live. Doesn't make me feel very good about it, but we live. Little HP, using its leftovers. Come on. This music is so hype, dude. Yes. Flamethrower. Come on. I landed a crit. Of course you did, Chompy Boy. Yes. So come to the onslaught. Just take it down, Hydrapple. Again? What is this? What is that? It looks like you can't absorb any more energy. Put up another barrier. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. Hold on. Gotta get my leftovers. Whew. Gotta get my lefties. Flamethrower. One more time! Are we living? No! No! The poetry is ruined! I'm so sorry, Chunky Boy. You did so much for me. And I drop will fainted. Okay, let's see. Now who do we go out into? It's only right that we go out into Behemoth. It's only right. He is one that has also been with us for an insanely long time. So here we go. Gotta give that protosynthesis. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We're just gonna go, um... I'm gonna go Brick Break. Hey, Matthew, use Brick Break. Oh, did not do too much. Drop goes to use Water Pulse. That also might hurt a lot. That's just a little bit scary. Takes us down to 40. I don't like that. Dragon, I use Thunder. No, and you miss! Dude! Um, we'll just go Knock Off again. Or we'll go Knock Off. Did even less. Gonna water pulse, gonna take us down. Okay, takes us down. Behemoth, the champion. Ugh. Sorry, Behemoth. Did not intend for you to go in and fail like that. Wow, stop going for thunder, dude. Oh, the music, dude. So good. Okay, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna bullet punch? Let's bullet punch. Wow, that did nothing. Oh, goes for Earth Power? Dude, do you have everything that can take me out? Yes, you land a thunder. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, please. Please let bullet punch do enough. Please. Oh, it goes extreme speed. Oh, oh, so glad I went bullet punch. Boom. The new addition to our Pokemon squad.
squad in general, Metagross, Doc Ock, deals the last, last hit. Maybe I'll go inside a ball now. Maybe. Yeah, I'll catch it. I know I can count any Phantom. You got this. Wow, that's a big deal. Wow, character development. Now, what do I want to catch a trap ghost in? I think... Does it deserve a Master Ball? No. Gets Pokeball. We're catching it in a Pokeball. I mean, the original Pokeball. You can't get more iconic than that, man. I mean, really. All the other ones are cool. They look great. Sometimes they match other Pokemon's color schemes better. But, like, the original Pokeball, man. Like, you can't get any better than that. Boom. Got it. Terrapagos was caught. We are now the proud owner of a Terrapagos. Is, is it over? Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. No thanks to you. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. It seems like that's kind of the whole point of this game. Is like all these adults are... Ah, I gotta readjust in my seat. But it's like all these adults just have these like huge aspirations and like obsessions and then just kind of just des destroy us almost. Finally, finally I can let it go. You're really cool too though. I mean, you're freaking strong, dude. But, but just... <laughs> wow. I swear I've got such a silly younger brother. So if you can finally let it go. She can cry too. Wow. Oh, you two must have been so scared. We all shone brilliantly just now. You're truly dazzling. In the end, even Phantom got trapped, ghost. I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. That was such a good battle. Are you kidding me? Literally getting two trainers to double battle with me? Sheesh, dude. So awesome. Well, here we're back. I guess I am still an exchange student. Whew, finally home. I need to get in touch with Gita. No scratch out. I need to publish her first. Hey, Phantom? Yes? Look, look I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. <laughs> I want to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, Phantom. Wow. Character development. Insane. So, I'm sorry. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. Oh, look, sunrise. Perfect. So do you think... We could start from zero and be friends again? Of course we can, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? You help me save the world. Hey! We're gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. Wow. Ah, this is good music, too. Just jamming along, man. Wow. And that was it. That was crazy, dude. <sighs> that was so awesome. Um, That's all I got to say. That was freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of the support on the series. Um, we're also probably going to cut the music on this. So if you don't hear the music on this, that's great. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Series is almost done, but Pokemon did announce that there is an epilogue to everything. So who knows? Who knows how long we'll be back, but we will for sure be coming back. I just want to say thank I want to say thank you for all the support. You guys have been absolutely insane. Um, yeah, you guys, it's like... I do this because it's fun to share it with people. You know, I used to just play video games just because I think it's fun, but it's so much fun to share it. So thank you guys so much for making it fun to share it and for everything that you all do, all the likes, the subscriptions, the comments on the episodes, everything. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember, keep smiling, and I'll catch you later.